You know, buying a laptop in Nigeria can be kind of tricky. In this video, I'll be showing you five things you check before you buy a laptop in Nigeria. Actually, you can use laptop that you buy in Computer Village and other places around Nigeria. So, I'll be showing you five important things you check on your laptop before you buy or before you pay for a laptop. You can use laptop at that. I'm below the AJB. If you're not subscribed to my channel, dream about subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the video. See you there. Left to me, if I'm to get a UK use laptop, the first thing I'll check is the processor speed. Modern systems have two processor speed. There is one for the base speed and one for the turbo speed. Okay, the base speed is the functionality of the system when the system is at normal range. While the turbo speed is when the system is overloaded with work, you can use your turbo speed. But let's check the processor speed of this particular system. So I'll go to settings. Settings is where you are going to see your specifications and you go to about of your settings. Once you get to the about of your settings, everything you need to know about your system is right there okay as you can see this is the turbo speed of this particular system and this is the base speed now the second thing you watch out for when you are buying the system is the age of the cpu that's the generation of the laptop we know we have different generations of laptop we have the first generation we have the second generation we have the third generation we have the fourth generation i think windows is on the 10th generation the higher the generation the more efficient the laptop would be the age of your cpu determines the power surge and the each generation of the system this particular system now we are going to check for the generation of this particular system and see which of the generations does it fall into you know we have first we have second we have third we have fourth we have fifth we have six seventh eight. so how then do you know your generation now the same settings you are is where you're going to know the generation of your system to know the generation of your system come to the settings we have come here and check the about section of your settings and right here you see the model number from the model number you get to know the generation of your system this particular system is a fourth generation system as you can see the model number starts from four that means it's fourth generation if it starts from five if it starts from three if it starts from two that's the generation of your system System. the third thing you should watch out for when you're buying a uk system is the ram because the ram helps you access your application makes your application faster it determines how fast your system will be aside from the processor speed it determines the way your computer process information that's the use of a ram so you check the ram of your system we have different types of ram but we are not going to go into details we have this particular system has 8 gig ram and 7.88 gig of the 8 gig ram is usable so these are another thing you should check in a system when you are getting a system and the fourth thing i will advise you to check is the operating system we have different operating system we have windows operating system we have mac os we have linux based os we have a lot of ways we have pirate OS that is linux based we have ubuntu we have we have a lot of we have kali linux but this particular system is windows 10 pro and windows windows have different versions we have windows 7 we have windows 8 to you know the type is right here in the windows specification this is windows 10 pro we have windows 8 we have windows 7 Seven. so you could check all that here yeah. and the last thing i would advise you to check is your ad size for those that want to watch movies you want to listen to music you want to have enough storage space to collect these files you want to have enough storage space to do whatever you want to do you have to check for your storage like we have different storage type too but we're not going to go to details so to check for your storage you come to the storage section of the settings and you see this this is 500 gig what 65 means is 500 gigabyte not subscribe to my channel do remember to subscribe to my channel i'll see you my next video peace out